All right, hey guys, and welcome to another Sun Collectible Review video. Today, I'm going to be showing you one of my personal favorite plushes from my collection, and that's this Sonic the Hedgehog curtain holder. So what do I mean by that? Well, first of all, it is a plush. Now, the only thing that makes it a curtain holder is actually located on his right hand, or for you guys, the left side here. Now, basically what it is, here's the string that's attached to his one hand, and here is the other part, which is a button on the outside of his other hand. So when you link these two together, there you go. Sonic can hold something in place. So it was marketed as a curtain holder. So, you know, when you're in your mom's den or something, um, if you want to tie back the curtains and you want Sonic the Hedgehog to grab hold of that curtain and hold it in place, that's what this little guy was made for. Now, of course, I'm not using mine for that. I'm displaying it as a plush, and overall, for me, this is an excellent, excellent design of a plush. And I want to show you something that's really unique about this one that a lot of plushes um, from this time did not have. First of all, here's this tag. Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. And then on the back, Sega 1991. So this is a very, very, very early plush. Now, the aspect that not a lot of plushes had at this time were the eyes. So what do I mean by this? Well, first of all, a lot of the plushes that I have from 1991, 1992, 1993, it was either a piece of rubber with a little dot up top, um, or it was a hard plastic with a little white dot. Now this one is actually a very thin piece of sort of felt material, almost like a velvet. And then the eye is its own separate little decal. Now, I examined my plushes, and really quickly, from all the ones that I own, this is the only plush that does that, where it has a separate white decal that goes over this white, uh, this, this velvety eye. So, that's actually really unique, and I didn't notice that until I actually picked this up for the review. His mouth is actually a very, very thin piece of, um, piece of sewing for his mouth, which I actually really like, too. And overall, the design just really screams Japanese style to me. A lot of the plushes from 1991, I, I don't know, the design on them is just a little bit awkward, but this one is really, really well done to me. Um, well proportioned. The feet look a little bit odd when you look at them like this. A little bit big, maybe. But I don't really mind. I think he just looks great overall. Here's the back. The quills are done fairly well. And as a plush in itself, not even counting the curtain holder aspect, I think he's just a really, really well-designed and great plush. Unfortunately, he is pretty rare, um, so if you ever do see him, be sure to pick him up. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel where I'm doing more reviews just like this one, little bite-sized mini-reviews from my Sonic the Hedgehog collection, and I plan on reviewing my whole collection over time. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out my channel, subscribe if you enjoy, and I'll see you guys soon.